The Arizona Diamondbacks came into the league in 1998 after being awarded an expansion franchise in 1995. The team achieved immediate success upon entering the league, winning their first division title after only being in the league for one year, and they have won the National League West division title five times, the most recent coming in the 2011 season. It took only three years as an organization to win their first and only World Series title, which came in 2001 over the high-profile New York Yankees. Randy Johnson holds almost every pitching record in the team's history, and Luis Gonzalez holds almost every offensive record for the club. In 2014, Arizona came in last place in all three portions of the standings. They were worst in their division, worst in the National League, and had the worst record in all of baseball at 64 and 98. Obviously, that makes it tough to find good things to say about 2014, and the only direction to go from here is up. Kirk Gibson was fired as manager as the season came to an end, with Alan Trammell taking over for the last two games of the season. This season, Chip Hale will begin his first tenure as a manager. Mark Trumbo came over to Arizona last season from the Los Angeles Angels, but he appeared in only 88 games, resulting in poor numbers for his new team. If he can get back to the player he was a few years ago in L.A., he could certainly help this team get out of the basement in 2015. Paul Goldschmidt is the best player on the team without a doubt. After a 2013 season when he hit 36 dingers and knocked in 125 runs, his numbers were down last year and he only appeared in 109 games. His return to form will certainly affect the new season. Josh Colmenter was one of only a few shining lights on the Diamondbacks pitching staff that was among the worst in all of baseball in 2014. With the return of Patrick Corbin in June after Tommy John surgery and the additions of Trevor Cahill and Bronson Arroyo, there is at least experience there to help out the situation. The line setters do not see much changing in 2015 from their results of last year, offering a 71.5 team wins total with a plus 2,000 to compete with the Dodgers and Giants in the National League West. The health of the players is the greatest concern for this team, and assuming that they can keep it together, this 71.5 offer is of course extremely low. At the same token, it is realistic, with the Padres bolstering their roster in the offseason and the Dodgers expected to have similar success that they had last year. We cannot fully endorse this team to come even remotely close to 500, and 71 and a half as a total is just about 10 games away from that. We predict that this team falls under that number and another down year in Phoenix. Don't forget that the Bang the Book Betting Center is your best resource for information before you make your weekly assault on the sports books.